Hi, I'm Bhavna Panja Barrett, and I'm the founder of Successful Superwomen, an amazing community of female entrepreneurs helping especially um, Indian women or South Asian women to overcome lim limiting beliefs and help them um, make successful lives and businesses. So, um, wow, when I was approached about this, uh, oh, to be 21 again, um, so many things came to mind. Um, some of those things were uh, to do with personal development. Some of them were to do with business development, um, professional development, as you like to call it. And um, really interesting because I've done a lot of things in the last 20 years. I've achieved a lot in the last 20 years. Uh, I'm a you know, successful uh, business person with two incredible successful businesses. Uh, one is a wedding photography business and one is a coaching business. So, oh, to be 21 again. Wow. Wow. Um, things that I would do differently. Firstly, I would travel more. I would definitely travel more. I graduated by the time I was 21 and went straight into employment. Like I started working for a great organization, which was fantastic. But the things that, the things that I didn't do were travel. I think traveling is a great addition to, to getting um, the exposure that you need to grow as a professional and personal um, person. I think it opens up opportunities to so many different avenues as well. Meeting different people from different walks of life really adds to your to your growth. Um, emotionally as well, like it, it helps you become a better person. It helps you see things from a different perspective. So I wish I traveled more. Um, then I wish that I would have got a coach got a mentor like I, I really wish I knew about that at the time I didn't have a clue about coaching I didn't have a clue about mentoring I didn't even know what those things did at the time you know I was um it was a very long time ago but now I wish I'd had that I wish I'd had that support like I became a wedding photographer 10 years ago and even at that point I didn't have a mentor or a coach because I didn't know about their existence I didn't know how they could help me Whereas now I see the benefits. And as they say, hindsight is a great thing. Um, now I understand that, you know, at, at that young age, we're not exposed to a lot because, you know, we've, we've gone from school to college to university. Most of us anyway, take that kind of route. And, and we don't see a lot more outside of that environment. So we don't get a coach, we don't travel, we don't even get experiences. You know, I think taking a year out, for example, would be a fantastic thing to do. Like, I would definitely, if I was to go back to university now, if I was 21 and was at, still at university, I would definitely take a gap year. I would go and do the things I wanted to do in that gap year. Get the work experiences. Like, you know, that is what I would definitely say to my kids now as well. I think that sometimes we overrate qualifications. I think sometimes we think that getting a qualification is more important than the experiences but really having that life experience is so much more important um, looking back at things I would also spend more time with my family I'd really really wish that I had spent more time with my with my parents with my siblings I am able to do that now but I wish I was able to do that when I was younger um, I think it would have just you know it just enhances your life so much so I think um, you know, now we have a great relationship with my parents and my siblings. But I think when you're younger, you need that support. And I have a very, very inclusive family. I have a very loving and kind family and very liberal family. So I've been encouraged throughout the last 20 years, if, well, if not longer. But I wish that I had spent more time with them when they were younger and we could do more things. So traveling as a family and creating those memories and creating, um, you know, those those brilliant times that I could look back at you know now my dad is much older I wish I'd done that with him when he was he was younger and he had the energy which he doesn't at the moment so you know spend time with your parents um, get to know them you have no idea the stories they'll give you and the experiences that will help mold you and get you to to grow in both your personal and professional development uh, and I also wish that I would have um 
been more adventurous. Like I'm a very adventurous person, person in general, but I didn't take risks and I wish I'd taken more risks. I think I wish I would have done the skydives and the bungee jumping and, um, you know, gone and done the all my raves. I think it's important to have those um those experiences and take those risks and I'm not talking about just taking risks wildly but calculate risks you know investing like if i'd invested in the property at that point and taken the risk i would have been in a very different position right now i didn't do that you know uh, when i was 21 and i wish i had just all those things kind of added together give you an idea of things that you should really be looking at like if you are young right now if, as in we're all young but you know you know what I mean if you're 21 and you're watching this it's right now um or if you're younger than 21 even older than 21 and watching this take um take these examples and go and do something that is going to help you progress in your life and make decisions that you're not going to regret I mean I'm, you know I by no means regret the things I did or the decisions I made but I do wish that if I did have a magic wand and I could go back to being 21 those are the things I would do. I would spend more time with my family, go traveling with my family, go on solo adventures, um, you know, take more risks, um, you know, learn new skills, meet new people, um, you know, maybe learn even more languages. I wish I could speak Chinese right now. You know, I wish when I was at university, I took up the opportunity to learn a different language and I didn't. And, you know, that will always stay with me. I wish I could do, you know, do that. So all these things together, I hope they inspire you to look forward with kind of opportunities, look forward and say yes to opportunities. I you know these things don't come around all the time, these opportunities. If someone says to you, I'm going to China for a month, do you want to come with me? And if you can, and you can take that risk and you can go, just go, go and experience that, go and, you know, take that gap year. Go and work in a different country, experience the culture, enjoy the food, you know, the, the colors, the traditions, take it all in. You have no idea where life will take you. And you don't know, you could end up in a place where you could have your best idea ever. Like, you know, I had my best idea ever when I was traveling. And I always get really great ideas when I'm traveling um, for business and personal development and professional development. So you just never know. You know, some, there's a great saying that says, more, you know, um, there's a book called, um, I'm reading it right now, I should remember the name, but it's uh, it's about um, networking, basically. And it talks about how, you know, it's not education that makes you who you are. It is experiences that makes you who you are. And that your best ideas don't come from working hard. They come from playing hard. You know, you could be on a very relaxing holiday somewhere, and that is when your best ideas may come to you. So think of that when you're thinking about um, taking these adventures and taking these risks. And, you know, I would certainly for myself um, say sort of this, oh, to be 21 again, like, you know, I would be going to that grave, I would be taking that risk, I would be investing in the property, I would be taking a new language, I would be traveling more um, and making the most of it because that is what it's all about. It's all about the experiences. So I really hope that this has inspired you today to go out and do something that is out of your comfort zone, that is, um, you know, something that you want to do, but you've been saying no to. And, you know, just say yes to opportunities, just go and do stuff and, uh, you know, be happy, be fulfilled. And if you want to find me, you can find me online, come and talk to me. I'll be happy to talk to you about taking these calculated risks. Um, and yeah, just enjoy life. Thank you very much. For